Hello and welcome back. This is Nick with the tech support team again. And uh, today we're going to be going through part three of the Getting Started series. And this one uh, we're going to go through and show you how to get your first playlist up and running on air on your station. Now for this, of course, we're going to be using your basic mode and that is the first uh, step to getting your station listed and on air is to, to start this basic mode playlist. So um, in the last video, uh, we did go through and we did the uploading of the tracks, making sure that they're all tagged correctly. And as you can see, we've got all the tracks ready to go here in our tracks locker. So the next step is really to create your first playlist. So what you want to do there is click on playlists. Now on this page here, I've created a, another playlist previously, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select create a new playlist. And you're going to see that your tracks locker is going to show up on the left here. Here's all my tracks I've uploaded. On the right is the window or the box for the new playlist. So essentially what you do is you just highlight the tracks that you want to move over, hit the green arrow that moves them over. Now in this case, I'm just going to grab all of them because I want them all to be in this playlist. So I'm going to highlight them all, click the green arrow, and move them over. Now if you want to adjust the uh, order in which they're in, you can always highlight uh, a track and hit the down arrow. That'll move it down one spot. Double arrows, uh, that'll move it down 10 positions and the triple moves it down 100 positions. So it may drop it to the bottom or the top if uh, depending on how uh, long your playlist is. So that's essentially the gist of it. Um, it's that easy to create the playlist. So I've got this here. Um, there's a few other options. You can click randomize. That's going to just quickly randomize them right before your eyes and mix everything up for you uh, in a random order. If you don't like that order, you can hit it again and keep randomizing. Uh, there's a shuffle mode. Now shuffle won't randomize it before your eyes, but it will shuffle it while it's playing on your station. So that's another option you can do. Um, you can also sort A to Z um, if you if you want to do alphabetical order. Um, so then we've got that and let's see. So then what you want to do is save it. Save. You want to click save as and check and this is going to allow you to name the playlist and we're going to call this new playlist. And then we're going to click OK. It's going to save. Now it's going to tell you up here if it has passed the DMCA rules and regulations, which it has. Um, if it doesn't, it's going to say failed. Now the reason this other playlist has failed is because there's only one track in it, and it's five minutes long. So you can't have a playlist that's five, five minutes long. It really has to be at least a minimum of three hours according to the DMCA rules. So just keep a note of that. Um, so it's the new playlist that I saved just then was... Um, five hours, 17 minutes, so it passes, everything's good to go. So the next step is getting this on air and broadcasting on your station. So what you wanna do next is uh, click on the controls tab here. You're gonna see this drop down menu for the playlist you wanna to select to play. In this case, we're gonna select the new playlist and we're gonna hit start broadcast. And that pretty much is it. That'll, uh, it takes about five to 10 minutes for it to get going but usually it starts up quicker than that. And the way you can check, of course, is going back to your broadcast status page. You'll notice that it says on air. And let's see here. So one thing you can do is you can visit your station page here. I'm just gonna copy and paste this into a new tab. There we go, and we should see it start to play here. Yep, looks like we've got something planned. Now, as the tracks play, you're going to see this history in this last played area show up on your tracks page. So, um, so yeah, that pretty much uh, gets you all uh, ready, and uh, and you're on air and broadcasting in basic mode. Now stay tuned for our next video series where we're going to be going over the, um, the Studio 365 live software and how to use that and how to do a live show. Thanks for watching.